anything about war. There has never been a war on this soil. Why are we being attacked? My mom and I are safe, at least just for now, but I don't see us surviving this. I don't see a way out. I hope I am wrong. When you have nothing going your way, all you have in abundance is hope, right? Good evening. Hello and welcome to Bahama Thought in Broadcast Primetime News. With new visuals and reports emerging from various parts of the island, the situation at the war hit its own points Yaldan is becoming more and more obvious and it does not look good. As per latest reports, the visitors have claimed the lives of at least 7,000 islanders in the past 48 hours. According to reliable sources, another 12,000 is kept hostile at various locations within the island, although the Bahama Thorin broadcasters yet to receive a confirmation on the matter. As mass killing continues for the third consecutive day, the authorities fear the possibility of a genocide and have requested various multilateral organizations to intervene immediately. The government has warned of a possible mass communication blackout in the next 24 hours and advised the citizens to remain indoor at any cost. Any information regarding the motive of the attack or the whereabouts of the visitors is yet to be released to the public. Life is tough. It's not going to get any better. In that case, is life worth living? Is suicide a practical option? This world discourages quitters and hells fighters. But in the end, what is it that the fighters have that the quitter doesn't? What if you want to quit? What is your motivation to live? Hope? Did hope promise you a better tomorrow? Are you sure hope is your friend and not a foe? Hope has been lurking around you for so long. Didn't it promise you the same yesterday? And are you having a better life today? Most of us are not. If it wasn't for this hope, you wouldn't have come this far into your life. But what if that was a mistake? You have achieved goals in life. Now, in retrospection, are they as significant as they once were? Look at all the quitters you know. Had they been around today, would they have ever had a chance to be happy? Now, do you fear they did the right thing? You cannot change your past but you can change your future, sometimes by avoiding it. <laughs>